Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is James, and we are back with more Super Mario Bros. 3. We have made it to World 5, and I like to call this the Annoying World. There are some boards, as I like to call them, on this level that just absolutely drives me mentally insane. Um, the first fortress on the level drives me batty. The um, for the um, six are drive me batty at times. Um, I think it's board nine that likes to get on my nerves. The castle slash air ship has a tendency to get on my last nerve so I'll probably start dying quite a bit in this level because the game does because it gets on my nerve it really does And this next board, 5-2, uh, as we see, we got another card, but I only have room for two power-ups right now, so we ain't going to worry about it. Um, there are two ways you can clear this level here. You can go all the way down, which... which to me are not very fun or you can if you have something that allows you to fly you can go up like I did and this part is so much easier plus here you can get three going up up you can get three extra lives which will always come in handy at some point in the game <clears throat> I messed that one up completely Let's go to the first fortress first. To me, this is probably the, the second hardest fortress in the game because you got time each jump perfectly and I didn't even jump there. I just ran right off. Um, I get a big man and go to three because I really would like raccoon tanuki something to get past I'll come back this way in a second oh shoot that ain't good come on bounce up here That's why I wanted to come back. Uh, well, there's an extra life and one of them boxes there, but we ain't going to be able to get to it without dying, so we ain't going to worry about it.
That was a little dangerous. Okay, now we got a couple of Hammer Brothers, so we'll use a power-up to get a power-up. Is it really necessary? No, but... But to save room in my little power-up tray, I'm going to do it anyway. And let's head on back and try the fortress one more time and hopefully I don't run off the cliff like I did in the burning lava like I did last time. Now one time I used a P-ring because I wanted to see what was in that tunnel. I'll tell you now, there's nothing up there, nothing worth wasting time with. And this boo here is probably the most annoying one in the entire game. Ooh, I almost ran off the cliff again. And now we got a little bridge here we can use to go back to the card if we so have to, but I'm hoping we don't. This is another board that I, that I find annoying, so... Because you gotta be fast with the buttons and 9% of the time I am not fast with the buttons. I have used the P ring on this board too to see what was on the other side of them bricks. Don't waste your time. I think all that's over there is like a coin box or something. And I knew that was going to happen the minute I jumped. I don't know what I was thinking there. Uh, 
And we made it to the top part. Um, I think I'm going to use a big man. Because this board here, I'm not particularly fond of. Because them red things there don't like me. So I, instead of using a P ring to fly over it, now I'm going to fly over it the old conventional way by getting enough speed and fly as far as I can. I don't think I've ever been able to beat the stage doing anything else but that. Now, here we get a, another, uh, get a um, Tanuki suit. The only thing bad about getting the Tanuki suit is I have been known to hit that box and jumping up and for some reason getting the leaf. Instead of going back like I did there and lose it the minute I get it. Now, we'll try six. I don't think there's a board on this game I hate more than this one. You have to be absolutely perfect with your jump so you die like I just did. Might as well get this mushroom. Good, another leaf. I'm going to get a big man for seven. Seven can be... No, this ain't the board I thought it was. Now you can go down and go in that tunnel there. Ooh. I choose not to because when you come out you got to deal with that guy. And that guy doesn't play. Me and him just don't get along on any of these stages. Okay, time to use a power-up to get a power-up. Nope, don't get a big man. Got another music box. I'll probably get rid of the music boxes at the end of the... the next level, at the beginning of six. Because to be honest, I don't really need them. Got some more firepower. How many leaves do I got? One, two, three. We'll use one and go try six again.
I hate this board with a passion, I do. Let's try it again with a regular big man, I guess. I only use so many power ups trying to beat this level that I'm going to have to go back and hit that card again. But hey, I finally made it past six. After dying two or three times. And the second fortress. Now this fortress here can be a pain in the butt at times. Because you got lava balls going all over the place. Now this star here can be helpful. But most of the time it's a it's not good because it causes you to flip and stuff and that just ain't cool to me. Go away, boo. But it was pretty simple. <clears throat> this is another board that can get on my nerves because it's a continuous. You can't slow down to think what you want to do next because that thing likes to speed. throw crap out at you but I was able to get through it rather unscathed I mean it's a quick little level but I mean if you ain't quick with the buttons you're in trouble <clears throat> now another level that I find annoying this is another one where you got to time your jumps right Got to be fast with the controller. And we're just going to have somebody popping out in the middle of nowhere. Spin. Flame things out at you. And I tried to kill it when I probably shouldn't have. We'll get firepower. How am I on power-ups? I mean, this is basically what the entire board is, is jumping from platform to platform with that um,
I don't care if I lost my fire power. And I was right there. I was right there. I want to save that tanuki suit for the the castle. Um, why not use <coughs> firepower again? And I made it. Now for the dreaded airship. And this airship here gets on my nerves quite a bit too. I mean, the first part of it's not too bad. But there's one part of it that I find annoying. That ain't it. Well, shoot. This ain't gonna be fun. The... This part here, I despise this part. <clears throat> and this guy, he likes to shake the earth when he jumps, so... And it gets to a point to where you can't move. I'll try one more time. Would we'll go with firepower this time. Ah, shoot. That's not how I had that plan. But I'm going in big, so hopefully I'll be able to defeat him this time. Okay. 
I hate to do it like this, but I have to P-ring it just to get past it. I don't like doing this because to me it's like cheating. Plus I want to save these till 7 and 8 because there's a couple boards there that don't like me. Okay. Now let's see if I can beat it like this. There we go. Didn't like doing it like that, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do to to beat a level. And this was something I. I had to do. <clears throat> and what does the princess have for us? Another cloud. Something. Uh, I may waste the the clouds. See, I got how many? One, two, three right now. I may waste those along with the music box. But y'all, that's going to do it for this episode. Once again, this has been James saying thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And come back and join me next time as we do World and Super Mario Bros. 3. Y'all have a good one.